Hey guys, this is Kunjeff Jeff from somebody.cg.com and this is our quick review of uh, Windows Phone 7. Um, so starting off from the uh, lock screen, um, you can see that this is the lock screen right there. Um, you have information at the top like your uh, network connectivity, uh, the mode in which you're connected to the internet, Wi-Fi if available, your battery status, and um, right here you have the uh, the time, the date, and the day. And if you have an alarm, you have a notification right there. Right here, this empty space is actually where you get notifications of missed calls and um, stuff like that. Basically, if you have any, any new text messages or your new emails, stuff like that. Now you'll notice that if you tap the uh, the Windows key, you get this little thing happening right here. Even if you tap the screen, you get that little jump. Um, so this is a good indication of what you're supposed to do is just slide that right up there and you get this interface right there. Alright, so um, basically you have the home screen which is supposed to be this. Um, and you swipe over there and you have your full list of applications right there. Uh, basically whatever you have installed will appear here. Um, but whatever, you can, you can basically uh, choose what to put on the, uh, the home screen. Um, it's also worth mentioning that these are not actually icons, these are live tiles, that's what Microsoft first called it. Um, basically, they, they display information uh, live. Um, for example, the Pictures app pulls in a picture, the People's app, as you can see, keeps on showing you pictures of your friends and the latest status updates. Um, the Call live tile, for example, for the Coca Cola dialer app, um, will show you if you have any missed calls listed here. The Messaging app will show you a number here uh, to let you know if you have any new messages. Likewise for the um, for the email stuff right there. Um, you can also put contacts right here. Uh, choose an app. Um, a good example of live tiles is the Flickr uh, app. For example, this is the uh, picture that I just pulled in for today. Um, so yeah, basically you can um, let me just give you an example. You can press and hold um, long press on something for it to be selected. And you can just move this around wherever you want, right there, for example. Um, I'll just push this up, that kind of stuff, yeah. And um, you can press this to remove it, and it's removed. Um, likewise, you can go back into the list of all your apps, um, and then long press on this, uh, which you'll see this little menu drop down here. Now, this behavior is actually common to the whole uh, OS, you'll see this everywhere. Um, you can long press on a couple of things and see your different options right there. And you can sort this up again right there. So yeah, um, so this is actually very cool. We quite like that. Um, so yeah, uh, apart from that, let me just give you a quick look at the settings um, in Windows Phone 7. Now, um, this is the, uh, the system settings basically. These are your ringtones. You can't choose um, any of the music you have on your phone as a ringtone. You have to either buy the ringtone from um, from the marketplace, uh, which is a bit annoying. It's a lot like the iPhone in that case. Um, so that's a bit of a uh, Again, you can put your set your text message tone, your voicemail tone, your email tone, and there's a couple other things there. Um, you can also choose a theme for the. Uh, for the main home screen and basically everything else. Uh, let's choose a blue over here, for example. And you'll see that everything is a uh, shade of blue right now. Um, so yeah, uh, this is basically how easy it is to mess with settings on the uh, Windows Phone 7 platform. Um, everything else is basically self-explanatory. You also have individual options for apps that you might have installed. Uh, for example, games. It will take you to your Xbox Live um, settings and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, what else can I show you? Uh, let me show you the People's app. The People's app, as you know, is super. Um, su it just pulls in updates from your from your contacts, uh, from your Facebook, basically. You also list the uh, last couple of contacts that you might have been in touch with, right there. Um, so yeah, when you look at a contact, you can basically see how you're connected to them, um, in what way um, everything's pulled in. And you can um, basically pull in data from their Facebook right there. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. Moving on, um, basically, when you, you have a couple third-party apps that are on the uh, 
marketplace right now and um, they all work fine they all have the same UI uh, you can see right there um, of course third-party apps are usually slow like in this case uh, the Foursquare app is really slow so let's just go back maybe um, let me show you something else maybe I can show you Twitter yeah Twitter um, so yeah there are quite a lot of apps and they all make use of the uh, screen real estate as you can see right there um, but they all have the same um, way that they work right there so that's pretty decent so uh, the uh, calendar app is actually quite nice if you have any appointments it's listed on your on the live trial right there uh, you can add appointments save them that sort of stuff and um, all your all your appointments are color-coded uh, according to how you'd like uh, moving on what else can I show you right there um, yeah, music and video is handled by Zune, um, which you can see right there, which is uh, organized by your thumbnails right there. Um, and you can connect to your PC to sync. Uh, that's another problem though with Windows uh, Phone 7. You have, to, you have to connect your phone to Zune on um, the Zune software on Windows to put, to put music or video on this thing, um, which is quite annoying. It's a lot like iTunes in that way. Um, so yeah, uh, otherwise there's uh, office support, uh, quite nice office support right there actually. Um, typing a Word document is quite easy and uh, you have quite a lot of, the, even the keypad, the keypad for Windows 7 is actually quite nice. Uh, does take a little getting used to though, but um, that's how you do it there. Um, there's also the uh, landscape keyboard, which takes use of the whole screen real estate. This gap only appears in some apps, though. It's not in all the apps right there. Um, otherwise, everything's basically in portrait mode. Uh, email is also quite uh, well organized right there. You can um, download pictures, and there is a uh, default HTML support. Um, there's also, um, you'll notice that a couple of menus have this little row of tiny dots right there that you can uh, tap on to get to more options so yeah it's, it's a pretty solid platform like we said in our review uh, on the site um, again there is no multitasking which but it is coming soon um, there's also copy and paste which isn't there right now which again is also coming soon um, so yeah that's about it uh, if you have any questions for Windows Phone 7 do let us know in the uh, comment section below but um, you can check out our very detailed review on the site itself um, the link to that is in the uh, bottom right now uh, and that's about it